Hey, we've got an exciting video today. I want to pass along the recipe for Guy's Burgers from Guy's Burger Joint on Carnival Cruise Line. You know, have you ever been on the ship and think, wow, I wish I could have one of these at home? Well, thanks to Guy Fieri and Carnival, now we can. Let me tell you, you won't believe how easy this is and how quick you can do it. Guys, I'm Michael and welcome to Cruise Control. If you enjoy cruising or other types of travel, we invite you to subscribe and come be a part of our cruise family here at Cruise Control. Alright, so what we're going to look at first, this burger is called the Ringer. There are five different burgers on the, on the menu with God's Burger Joint. And this particular recipe is for the ringer. And then I'm going to show you what you need to make the regular, like the straight up burger or even the plain Jane. Okay. And so don't get overwhelmed when you see all these ingredients, because a lot of them you're not even going to need if you just want the straight up burger. All right. So let's put all the ingredients here on one page. Now, if you notice on the left side, the ingredients are for one burger <laughs> one burger and then on the right the donkey sauce recipe is going to make a lot of donkey sauce so there's a lot more donkey sauce than there is burger so what we've done is we've taken the burger recipe and we've times it by four so this would give you four burgers that's a little more equal to your donkey sauce at least a little more uh, you can, of course, multiply it out however you need into however many burgers you like. All right, here we go. And you actually don't even have to worry about writing anything down or anything like that. I'll just hang with me. I'll show you. Um, now, first off, on the ingredients, it says, I want to give you a few tips here is what I want to do. The ingredients, it says five ounces of ground beef, 80 to 20 blend. Now, a lot of people like a leaner uh, type of ground meat, uh, ground chuck, ground round, ground steak. Uh, and, of course, you know, you can do that. I don't want to advocate anyone being unhealthy. But I do want you to know that it does change the burger. Uh, you know how the guys burger joint, the, the burgers are so juicy it's going to change the burger. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying I'm letting you know ahead of time if you, you know, buy something different, uh, you know, so you can expect a little bit different outcome. Okay. But, um, and then next we've got the cheese sauce. Uh, Velveeta does make that. And I've even heard of people using cheese whiz. <laughs> I haven't tried that yet. But, um, you know, I imagine it wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see, you've got your uh, your onion, iceberg lettuce. You know what? To me, that's up to you. Um, it is your burger, you know, a slice of American cheddar cheese. That's, yeah, that's, you know, again, um, burger with cheese without cheese, okay? A slice of uh, beefsteak tomato, just to me, fresh tomato. Any kind of fresh tomato is good. Um, you know, I'm in the South, and I hate store-bought tomatoes. They're just, ah, uh, you, you know, if you've got a local farmer's market or something, wonderful tomatoes, usually. Okay, uh, three paper-thin slices of kosher pickle, kosher dill pickle. Um, again, you know, that's your choice. Uh, and then we get down to the donkey sauce. The donkey sauce is actually really easy to make, and it's very good, but not, you know, not absolutely necessary a lot of people don't like mayonnaise and um so you know and the donkey sauce isn't on every burger so that's again up to you and then uh the onion ring of course comes on the ringer and that you know you can well you uh or Ida, a lot of those frozen onion rings are great for that and then you've got your uh the guys uh bourbon brown sugar barbecue sauce now a couple of things here in cooking your burger okay it says you know to heat the recipe calls to uh heat a flat top grill or cast iron pan 
to very high heat. So if you're going to grill the burgers, like on a grill, again, it's going to be a little different. And you want to adjust your cooking time as well, of course. Uh, what has worked best for me uh, has been an, an old-fashioned southern iron skillet. And you can pretty much follow the recipe that way. Uh, now, you know, on the ship, they've got that big old grill, you know, and it's really high heat. So that's the other tip I want to give you. Um, at home, we're not used to cooking like that. Not normally. You know, they, they turn those burgers pretty fast. And so the cooking time is very minimal on these. So at home... You want to make sure, you know, uh, you may need to cook it a little bit longer. Uh, you, you just want to be sure it's done, you know. And another tip on that is you'll notice it says to flatten it out to about a third of an inch. And that is what they do on the ship. If you remember, uh, the burgers, they aren't uh, really thick. Now, you know, most guys, and including me, uh, you like a really thick burger. Well, that's good, but it's not Guy's Burger. It isn't. And uh, so if you want that, what you want to do is put your, you know, cook you a couple of them and, and put them together like you do on the ship, you know, and you can still achieve that. <laughs> um, got my brothers in mind here. Okay, now with all that said, that's what you need for the Ringer Burger. Now let's look at... Just doing a plain up, plain Jane burger, or a uh, straight up burger. Okay, so here's what you're going to need, or actually what you're not going to need, okay? Now, if you're not going to make the ringer burger, you won't need the donkey sauce, unless you just want it. So you can mark that off, and all its ingredients. Also, you won't need the onion ring take that out now if you want it of course again it's your burger you know and then also the uh, bourbon brown sugar barbecue sauce that's only on the ringer so you don't have to have that either so you can kind of see we've gotten rid of a lot here and what's left is what you would need to do the straight up burger or the plain Jane burger very simple so what I've done is put the ingredients together here, and I've highlighted in green what you need, and in red what you won't need. If you're not going to make the ringer burger, if you want to make one of the other burgers. And again, you know, the lettuce, tomato, onion, things like that, that's up to you. You know, that's, that's why there's, that, uh, there's the big uh, toppings bar on the ship. And because everybody's different, everybody likes different things. So basically, here you have it. Now also, I will link this in the description below. It comes straight from the Carnival website. And you can click the link. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's a straight link to uh, the hamburger recipe at Carnival. It's not something you find on the front page. So... Uh, and that way you can maybe print it off or whatever you need to do, you know, to help you out there. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, can't wait to hear if you guys try it. Guys, if you found the video helpful, how about a thumbs up? And remember to subscribe. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name's Michael, and I will see you next time.